Okay, today I'm doing a rundown of my med box because I don't have a med bag yet. It's on the way to be here in a, like three days, but this is the rundown of my trauma slash med box that I would carry around with me until my bag gets here. Um, as you can see, I have it pretty well pimped out. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm going to start and work my way from the bottom up. I have my surgical box where I keep all um, stainless steel and surgical items for in the field surgery. Um, and that's not, it depends on what type it is. I have everything from a numbing, numbing stuff to um, gauze pads to a, uh, I got tweezers and I got more gauze and I got, um, I have a lot of gauze. I got my 20 scalpel. I got my scissors and my tweezers. Um, some big band-aids down there as well. I'm surprised I got all this to fit in this itty bitty teeny tiny box, but um, I did. So set that aside. And um, after, under that, I got my CPR mask. Very very helpful. Um, I got an ace bandage, an ace wrap. I got um, canker sore meds for um, stuff in your teeth. Trauma shears, of course. Um, this is, uh, these are some alcohol swabs and uh, ap after bite and hand towels and stuff like that. I have my bug bite kit. It's got a pair of tweezers, um, testers, and a covers. I also have my a tourniquet, shoe strings that I just call my tourniquet because I don't buy tourniquets. I have a big Triangular bandage that can be used for splints or big heavy bleeding. Um, I have another CPR mask. I have like three of those. Here are my um, medications, ibuprofen, aspirin, stuff like that, all in there. I got I got big band aids, even bigger band aids, and huge band aids. And then I got my thermal blanket. And now we get to my favorite part. I got another pair of trauma shears, my small pair. Now we come to my favorite part, and we get to the gauze. <laughs> I love gauze. I have um, iPads, two, two regular iPads, obviously. Um, never know. I got a non-woven two by two. I have a non-woven two by two. I have a another gauze pad that's. Two times two by three. I have two two by threes. I have another non woven. Um, this one's a three by three. And this is a combine pad for five inches and five nine. It's five by nine. I have another gauze pad that's a three by three, another three by three. I have another three by three. I have a lot of three by threes. So I keep up with those. I keep, I've got another three by three. Here's a non-woven 4x4 four four. Um, a lot of my stuff's crinkled because I used to wear it in a vest and the vest started to get bad for me so I bought a bag and uh, that's why everything's crinkled but this is a 5x9 combine pad um, non-woven no that's that's a woven pad here are my giant gauze pads that I only these were pretty fairly cheap for $1.19 but uh, they were these are 8x4s, and I have three 8x4s. I always keep those just in case for anything big, GSWs, um, tournament chest steals. But I also got a poncho in there. You never know. It might rain. Up here I have I have my 2x4.5 yard um, gauze bandage. I have another one of those. I think that's what mine are. all mine are, 2x4s. This one's a... Um, yeah, it's a 2x4. That's a 2x4. And you can see all these in there. I'm not too good of a camera guy, so um, please keep that. But I guess it comes eventually. But yeah, there's my gauze. These are also can be used for splints. I got uh, two thermometers in here. I don't know my other one. There it is. I got this thermometer and this thermometer. This one is single use. This is that one. Next temp. And this one is multi-use because it doesn't touch a um, 
patient, if it were to touch a patient like the other one does to go in the other dude's mouth, it would, um, that'd be pretty weird, and I would not want to contaminate other patients like that. And then I got my band-aids organized here. Um, that's one, one thing I like about this, and I'm hoping my bag has pockets on it. And then I got the um, uh, irrigation syringe and needle. The funny thing is, is when I put this bag together, they said this syringe was 10 cc and this was an 18 gauge tip. This tip is only a 5 gauge tip, not a 10, uh, 18 gauge. So I don't know what the bag that I bought was thinking. Um, just keep in mind that all these are a bunch of first aid kits combined to make one big trauma, bi trauma bag. And here's another type of band-aid. Yeah, I have all of them organized in different compartments. Um, I got itty bitty um, small band aids, and I have um, my God, it's laid out there. But uh, I have um, dot bandages, and dot the dot bandages I find in my line of work more more useful for bug bites and um, stings, stuff like that, because they're little dots and little kids love them and they're not not fairly expensive I mean they're fairly cheap okay and then up here I have uh, some knee bandages and stuff like that and then I got my ace wraps my more tape I got a lot of tape um, this is tape tape this is 3m tape this is med tape um, I got some alcohol swabs um, more tape and yeah, this is all where I can get to it, as you can see, it's on the top layer of the box, and I also keep guys' pads up here. I have two five by five. I got a no; these are two by twos. Guys' pads you buy in big boxes, and I have a couple of them laid out there. And this is also not my full kit because I have a lot more. It's just it won't all fit in the box. That's why I ordered a bag. And there's a hand towel, and underneath all these hand towels, which it shouldn't be, these hand towels should be pushed back there. I have a pin light with a pupil gauge. See here. Okay. I have three sets of gloves. One, two, three. All, um, they're those one size fit all stuff. Um, I think that pretty much runs down all my medical supplies. Like I said, all this was, um, a big giant it was two separate first aid kits that I bought one at a CVS pharmacy and one at Bass Pro Shops as you can see I filled it I pretty much filled it up um, I have a lot of extra stuff that will be fit in the bag I will I'm planning on doing another video as I when I first get the bag cuz I'll have nothing to do so Hope you like my video, subscribe for more videos, and ask questions in the comment section below. Thank you.